Aspinall? Yes? Uh, I'm your examiner. I'll be with you in a couple of ticks. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Parachute. A parachute, Mr. Aspinall. <laughs> Don't question my decisions, Mr. Aspinall. All it needs for you to do is to take a wrong turning in the multi-story car park, a few circuits, and there we are teetering on the edge of infinity. <laughs> That's why I brought a parachute, Mr. Aspinall. You'll learn that that is the secret of good driving. Intelligent anticipation. Now, to the best of your knowledge, Mr. Aspinall, have you suffered from any notifiable disease? No. Uh, have you any history of emotional instability? Certainly not. You can tell us, you know. <laughs> the depths of the human psyche are an open book to we at the Ministry of Transport. Look, there's no cogs loose in our family, thank you very much. What are you doing? <laughs> Is all that necessary? You wouldn't ask a question like that, Mr. Aspen, if you'd been driven through Woolworths on a busy Saturday like I've been driven through. <laughs> <laughs> now, a few preliminaries. As a general rule, if I scream, I would like you to regard it as an instruction to reduce your road speed. <laughs> now, if I tap the face here thus, once, it means that I want you to drive with care because I've got my eyes closed. <laughs> and if I tap the face here twice, thus, it means I am trusting you implicitly, Mr. Aspinall, and allowing you to move into second gear. <laughs> now, you'll probably, you'll probably hear some wind noise because I prefer to drive with the door slightly open. <laughs> now, you'll get used to that, but should you hear it close, drive with care because it means I've gone. <laughs> You're on your own, Aspinall. <laughs> Look, I'm all right. I'm all right. Aren't I? No. Thank goodness you're not crossing the Sahara, but it should get you through the high street all right. It's charming, isn't it? Now, if you should feel it stopping, I'd like you to give me a clear warning, if you would. <laughs> Oh, dear, oh, Lord. <laughs> Haven't we got any plasma? <laughs> no, that's in the emergency pack. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, if you should have to give me a transfusion, for God's sake, don't get the bottles mixed up. There's some brake fluid in there. <laughs> and you'll find my blood group tattooed just below the left ventricle. Just to the left of the dripping dagger and the scroll saying to death or glory. Please, because the highway code is receding further back every minute. Eager for the fray, are you? Look, you've been at it a while. I've seen the flower of the Ministry of Transport cut off in his prime. <laughs> Young Bucknell from Wellin went out to here one Saturday morning with a slip of the girl, came back completely gone out of his mind. They found him right up a post by a zebra crossing, <laughs> singing, Nearer my God to thee. <laughs> right. Now, pay attention. When I signal thus, it means we're going to turn to our right. When I signal thus, it means we're going to turn to our left. When I do this, <laughs> it means give me two of the blue tablets from my top left-hand breast <laughs> and a glass of water from the flask in the emergency pack, right? Now, come on, let's get going. Let's... Oh, by the way, should I divest myself... Should I divest myself thus? It means that we are approaching a harbour area and I would like you to drive with you. Okay. Mr. Aspinall, will you come back here? Mr. Aspinall, oh, come back. They're always doing this. They don't like me, you know. It's because I speak too well. Mr. Aspinall, come back here, you racialist. Come back here.